Hilton County father takes a stand against the drunk driver accused of killing his daughter. Michael Hilton is on trial for murder and the death of Brianna Taylor. As Ann Bowden reports, her family says they had to relive her death today in court. It's been almost a year since the deadly DUI crash that took the life of 17 year old Brianna Taylor and her friend Michaela Herrig. Now, on Thursday, both families of those victims took the stand and they also had to hear some graphic testimony. So she gave us all a hug, and me and my wife and my son, and she went to Michaela's. That was the last time we seen her. David Taylor recounts June 22, 2014, when his daughter Brianna left to go fishing with her friend Michaela Herrick. Thursday, he listened to the horrific details of what happened on their way home. When she arrived, um, it was readily apparent that she was the most severe of the three. Photos and testimony revealed Brianna received facial injuries, internal organ damage, and massive blood loss from the crash. Doctors worked to keep her alive, but could not. But unfortunately, her heart stopped the second time, and we were not able to get her heart restarted this time. When the families of Brianna and Michaela took the stand, they didn't just focus on their loss or grief. They read a letter sent from the accused, Michael Hilton, who police say ran a stop sign at Patriot Parkway and Deckard School Road, slamming into Brianna Taylor's Mustang. I didn't have time to stop at the sign without worrying of putting myself and my passenger in danger. I slowed as much as possible without breaking in a dangerous manner, quickly looking both ways. But state police testified the car's black box showed acceleration before the crash. And the doctor who treated Hilton said he admitted he was driving drunk. Per my documentation, it says that he uh, admits to uh, uh, what I have documented as ETOH intoxication, which is an abbreviation for alcohol. Testimony says Hilton's blood alcohol level was nearly three times the legal limit. He faces charges of murder, assault, and DUI. Here, outside of the Justice Center in Hardin County, Ann Bowden, WLKY News. Hilton was the least injured of the four in the accident. He had a laceration on his foot. His brother was the passenger and was also seriously hurt. He's expected to be called as a witness for the defense.